You can you can get that out. You can never get that. You you just can't. You'll kill yourself. You have to get out. Courtney thrives on challenges. A three and a half hour kayak ride for the first time out gives many people without a chronic illness pause. For this challenge, she wanted to help, so she paddled. The next step is either a drug or surgery. Two in with the two in their own next time and the two in the next trouble. The next two, it doesn't usually show up until the teenagers. I didn't realize that would become that. Courtney already was nearly blind in her left eye. I was indulged with a lot of physical activity to knit soccer, to school dance. I could inline skate everywhere. Do a lot of walking. When people tell you that you can't do things, how does that make you feel? Angry, frustrated, rebellious. I don't like to tell me I can't do something. You never know that you can't do something until you actually try it. I don't get out much. Occasionally, I'll schedule trips to the store where they're just to get out of the house. I'm going to try something new. What other things would you like to try doing? Hmm, a long list. We'll start with skydiving. I'd like to get back into soccer. I get that the, the doctors can do that. There's not a, a full blown cure there and I right now. They will get there. I was diagnosed at 13. I had started losing my downs and falling into the girls in school. Another doctor started examining the little dunce on my skin and they discovered the tinders in my during in that years. I wasn't able to release myself on the saddle of the horse. I wondered what I had done to deserve this. And I, I still wonder that. Christians are taught that Jesus is looking out to you and does everything in your best interest. So uh, when I started making very close friends with other two, and you see them suffering every day, you wonder how that is in their best interest. It seems a, a lie. It makes you kind of wonder when doctors will find a cure and how many more people need to die. I also have to write myself notes. It does affect the ability to chew and swallow in your speech. I had that food in my left ankle. A lot of us uh, has trouble with daughter or dowels. Trying this in our hands could really thug my self esteem. When I was in the store the other day and a lady had a little boy, he was in the cart. I tried smiling and he dug down crying because I scared him. It's a nature downer. Yeah. We know not the old here, we know the blind, we know talk funny, we know look good. That all you want is to be treated like everybody else. Never get out of the chair and